Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 24 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, and today we're going to focus on the topic of transformations of graphs. Now, I really, really like this topic. I, I really like the transformations of graphs, and some of the students that I have really like it as well. Some of our students find it a bit tricky, so it's one of those topics where I'd, you know, I'd highly recommend watching this video, making some notes. Um, it's one of those lessons where perhaps if you've got window pens, do the transformations of the graphs on your window. So if you're daydreaming, you can look out the window and see the transformations of graphs to remind you how to do each of them. And um, write some notes on it. If you've got the revision cards, card number 37 on transformation of graphs and card number 38 on transformations of graphs, we use four revision cards for you as well. But transformations of graphs, I really like this topic and I'm gonna go through it now and I'm gonna show you the transformations of the graphs and then give you some questions to try as well. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at transformations of graphs. So here's part of the Corp Maths revision card. And if you go y equals a function of x, so y equals f of x, there's four different transformations you're going to need to know at GCSE level. And they are y equals minus f of x. So this transformation is a reflection in the x-axis. y equals f of minus x. That's a reflection in the y-axis. y equals f of x plus a where the plus a is outside of the brackets that translates the graph a squares upwards if it's subtract a it's a squares downwards and finally y equals f of x plus a where the plus a is inside the brackets now this one's counterintuitive rather than translating the a squares to the right it actually translates it a squares to the left and if that's subtract rather than translating it to the left it translates it to the right okay now let's have a look at each one of these in a little bit more detail so if we've got y equals f of x let's start off by looking at y equals minus f of x so in other words we've got this minus sign in front of the function so that reflects it in the x-axis so here we've got y equals f of x so we've got this quadratic graph in black here and if we were asked to sketch this graph y equals minus f of x that reflects it in the x-axis so here's our x-axis that's the mirror line so any points on that curve that black curve above the x-axis will now go below the x-axis so the point zero three would then go to zero negative three if we had a point up here for instance 10 5 it would be reflected down here to be 10 minus 5 and so on the points that were below the x-axis were then will be reflected above the x-axis and the points that were on the x-axis stay where they are so if we have this graph y equals f of x this original one and we're asked to sketch y equals minus f of x we just reflect it in the x-axis so the points above the x-axis go below the points below the x-axis go above and the points that are on the x-axis stay where they are so the x-axis is the mirror line and that's just important to know what that sketch would look like that graph would look like that y equals minus f of x okay so we've looked at this one now y equals f of minus x so in other words we've got a minus sign inside of the brackets so this one was a reflection in the x-axis this one's a reflection in the y-axis so let's have a look at it and see so if we've got that same quadratic graph in black here if we were asked to sketch y equals f of minus x well that's this one in blue so we're reflecting it in the y-axis so the points that were on the right hand side or if we look at the original graph y equals f of x the points on the right hand side of the y-axis then get reflected on the left hand side so the point one zero goes to minus one zero three zero goes to minus three zero and so on so all these points in this side go to the left hand side all the points are on the left hand side then go to the right hand side so here and any points on the y-axis will stay where they are so this point zero three because it's on the mirror line will stay where it is so if we've got a graph of y equals f of x and we're asked to sketch y equals f of minus x we just reflect that graph in the y-axis so we just flip it horizontally like so Okay, so we've done this one. So we've done our reflections. Now let's have a look at our translations. So if we've been asked to sketch y equals f of x plus a, so that translates it a square upwards. So if we have our quadratic graph, now this is a different quadratic graph this time. Y equals f of x is this quadratic graph here. And if we're asked to draw the graph, for instance, here, f of x plus 3, that translates it 3 squares upwards. So all the points on that original graph will move 3 squares upwards. So instead of being minus 4, 0, it will go to minus 4, 3. Instead of being 0 minus 4, it would go to 0 minus 1. Instead of being 4, 0, it would go to 4, 3, and so on. So if you were asked to sketch y equals f of x plus 3, it just translates the graph 3 squares upwards. Okay, so we've had a look at that translation. And finally, this one here, if you've got plus a inside the bracket, so if you're asked to sketch y equals f of x plus a, so that translates it a squares to the left. So it's counterintuitive. Rather than moving it to the right, it moves it to the left. So let's have a look. 
So if we've got this graph here, this y equals f of x in black here, and we're asked to sketch y equals f of x plus 3, that would translate this graph 3 squares to the left. So instead of being 4, 0, it would go to 1, 0. Instead of being minus 4, 0, it goes to minus 7, 0. And instead of being 0, negative 4, it would go to minus 3, negative 4. So it would look like this. It translates the graph 3 squares to the left, and it's just counterintuitive. And that's it. Okay, and that's it. So we've looked at our four transformations. Now let's have a look at some questions. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question. So we've got the graph of y equals f of x here in red, and this point here is the point 0.52. So the point P is the point 0.52. And we've been asked, what are the coordinates of the new position of P? So where does this point move to whenever the graph of y equals f of x is transformed to the graph of y equals minus f of x and y equals f of minus x, like so. Okay, so feel free to press pause now and figure out where this point will move to if you do this transformation and where this point will move to if you do this transformation. Okay, so part A. Part A is y equals minus f of x. So this transformation reflects the graph on the x-axis. So all the points above the x-axis will move to below the x-axis. So the graph would look something like this. This point would move to here, and then it would look it would go down like so, and down like so, and so on. Now we're not actually asked to sketch it. We're just asked where this point P would move to. So it was 5, 2, so 5 along 2 up. It would move to 5, negative 2. So it would move to 5, negative 2. So let's write that down, 5 negative 2 and if you got that well done okay so that's part a okay part b so the transformation this time is y equals f of minus x so this reflects the graph in the y-axis so in other words you flip it horizontally the, the points that were on the right hand side of the y-axis will move to the left hand side and the points that were on the left hand side will move to the right hand side so the graph would look something like this if you were to do a sketch it would look something like this and um, we've not actually been asked to sketch it we just want to find where this point moves to so it was five to the right and two up it's now going to be five to the left and two up so it's going to be now minus five 2. So that's where it would move to. So it'd be minus 5, 2. And if you got that, well done. Okay, now let's have a look at our next part. So our next part, we've got the same graph and we've been asked to find where P moves to if we've got these two transformations. So feel free to press pause now and figure out where this point would move to if you've got y equals f of x plus 3. And then figure out where this point would move to if you do y equals f of x plus 1. Okay, so press pause now and work that out. Okay, part C. Part C, we're going to translate the graph three squares upwards. So all these points will move three squares upwards. So it would move and look something like this. Uh, so it looks something like that, just moving all the points three squares upwards. So this point would move three squares upwards and it would move to five, five. So that's it. So it would be five, five. And if you got that, well done. Okay, our next one, part D. So we've got y equals f of x plus 1. So this would translate all these points one square to the left. So the graph would look something like this whenever you translate it one square to the left. And this point would move to here. So it's going to move 1 to the left. So instead of being 5 across and 2 up, it's now going to be 4 across and 2 up. So it would be 4, 2. So it would be 4, 2. And if you got that, well done. Okay, now let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next part. So we've got part E and part F. So we've been asked to find where this point P moves to if we've got Y equals F of X minus two, and then figure out where this point moves to if you've got Y equals F of X minus three. So feel free to press pause and to do that now. Okay, part E. Part E, we're gonna translate the graph two squares down. So it's gonna move all these points two squares down. So the point P, instead of being five across and two up, is now gonna to move to here, which would be five across and zero up. And actually, all the rest of the points would move two down. So it would look something like that if you asked to sketch it. Um, obviously, they would be parallel. Um, so the point P moves to five, zero. And if you got that, well done. Okay, our next part, part F. Well, this says we're going to translate the graph three squares to the right. Whenever we subtract three inside the brackets, rather than moving to the left, it moves it to the right. So it's going to translate all these points three squares to the right. So this point would move three to the right, so it would actually now be eight, two. And all the points would be translated three squares to the right, so it would look something like that. So the point P would move to eight, two. And again, if you got those, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this is a question for you to try. And we've got a graph here of y equals f of x. I would like you to press pause now and I would like you to sketch what y equals f of minus x would look like. So if this is y equals f of x, I want you to sketch what y equals f of minus x would look like. Okay, so this transformation is a reflection in the y-axis. So all the points of this graph that were on the right-hand side would now move to the left-hand side. All the points that were on the left-hand side would move to the right-hand side. And any points that were on the y-axis will stay where they are. So I'm going to start off with this point, which is 0, 5. So it's going to stay where it is, 0, 5. It's going to be there. Okay, now these points, they're going to move to the other side. So they're going to move up like so. 
Okay, at this point here, which was negative one zero, it's going to move to the other side, so it's now going to be one zero, so one zero there. So the graph's going to come down and it's going to touch there and then come back up again. And then it's going to then go up and then down again. So it's going to go up and then down again, like so. And it goes through the point, so that's the point one, zero. This point here would be four, zero, and it goes through the point zero, five. And that's it, that's my sketch. Now it's not necessarily the best of sketches, but that's uh, my sketch, and I've got all my key points. So this transformation reflects the graph and the y-axis, so all the points are on the right-hand side, move to the left-hand side. All the points are on the left-hand side, move to the right-hand side, and it still still goes through the point zero, five. And that's it, and if you got that, well done. Okay, next question. So we've got the same graph to begin with. Now can you sketch y equals f of x minus 3? So y equals f of x minus 3. Okay, so let's have a look at our transformation. It's going to be a translation, and it's going to move all the points three squares down. So this point will move down to 0, 2. So it's going to move down to 0, 2. This point would move three squares down, so it's going to move down to negative 1 negative 3, so it's going to move down to negative 1, negative 3. This point's going to move 3 squares down, so it's going to move down to negative 4, negative 3. And all the other points will move 3 squares down, so it's going to translate it 3 squares down, so it looks something like this. And our graph is going to look something like this, and I'm just going to sketch it on this set of axes. Okay, so I've just sketched it over here. Let's just label our point. 0, 2 would be there. This point here would be our negative 1, negative 3, because remember, everyone's moved 3 squares down. Uh, this point here would be negative 4, negative 3, and it would look something like that. Actually, one thing I just want to point out is this particular point here, this point, whenever it goes 3 squares down, we're not entirely sure where it's going to go because we weren't told the height of this point. I've got it just going just above the x-axis. You may have had it just touching or just below or whatever, uh, but as long as your sketch has that shape and has those three points, then that's fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So we've got the same graph of y equals f of x again, going through the points negative 4, 0, negative 1, 0, and 0, 5. Can you now press pause and sketch the graph of y equals f of x minus 1? Okay, so this is a translation. It translates the graph one square to the right. Because remember, if it's inside the brackets, it's counterintuitive. So rather than translating it to the left, it translates it to the right. So all of these points are going to move one square to the right. So instead of going through negative 1, 0, it's now going to go through the origin. Because when you move that one square to the right, it passes through 0, 0. This point will move up to here, which will now be 1, 5. And this point will now be, instead of being negative 4, 0, be negative 3, 0. So the graph will look something like this. And that's it, just translates it one square to the right. And let's just, you just label those other points, negative three, zero, and here the origin, zero, zero. And that's it. So if you sketch that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So this time we've got the same graph y equals f of x. Can you now press pause and sketch y equals minus f of x? Okay, so this is a reflection in the x-axis, so the points that were above the x-axis will go below, and all the points that were below the x-axis will go above, and the points that were on the x-axis will stay where they are. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the points on the x-axis, because they will stay where they are, that's the mirror line, so that's going to be negative 4, 0, and negative 1, 0. This point that was at 0, 5 will now be 0, minus 5, down here somewhere, and the graph would look something like this, where it passes through negative 4, 0, it passes through negative 4, 0, negative of one zero they stay where they were and it passes through the point zero negative five like so and all the points that were below the x-axis and are above all the points that are above and are below and it would look something like that and if you got that well done and that's it so in this video we've looked at if we've got y equals f of x what the transformations y equals minus f of x would be a reflection of the x-axis y equals f of minus x a reflection of the y-axis y equals f of x plus a, so that would translate it a squares upwards, or if it would subtract a, a squares downwards, and y equals f of x plus a, that would translate the graph a squares to the left, and if that's subtracted, it would be the a squares to the right, and that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at the different transformations of graphs. That's one of those topics where you do need to know the different transformations of graphs, and you know, such as your reflections and your translations and so on. Using a window pens and writing them on your window or writing some notes on them can be really useful. I used to make up dance moves in terms of you know shifting the graphs around and sort of reflecting them and so on, uh, but I'm not going to do them in this video today. You have to be in one of my classes to see me do those dance moves. <laughs> but transformations of graphs is one of those topics that I really like, and I, I like to practice questions on it, and I would highly recommend the, pra in the practice questions that are in the description below. But today, obviously, there's 24 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam. 
keep up the hard work. And one of the things I would say is remember transformations of graphs, there's things that you've got to remember. And there's lots of different things that I've told you, you know, your circle theorems, your area of a circle, your trig graphs and so on, all those different things you're gonna to need to remember. And what I would say is, you know, having sort of them written down on, you know, revision cards, such as the, the code mouse revision cards, but also if you've got window pens or writing them on pieces of paper and quiz yourself on them just to help you remember those little facts and bits of information you're gonna need for your GCSE exams. So keep up the hard work and I'll see you tomorrow at three o'clock for the next video. Cheers, bye.